Hello guys, welcome to today's video and on today's video I'm going to show you how to make use of Bing Composer on your PC. So um, Bing AI actually has a particular extension and this particular feature is called Bing Composer. So it composes your word in different formats. If you are trying to create um, if you are trying to create a very quick format, a poem, you're trying to create a blog post, this particular tool is going to help you to create that. Now, to start with, just go ahead and open the um, Edge application, which is actually the Microsoft Edge application. If you do not have it downloaded, you can go to Google and search for Edge um, Edge browser. It's actually a Microsoft default browser, so you should have it on your Windows PC on default so if you have it open notice on the left hand area where it has this big icon the the very big b right click on that now if you click on that it brings you on default to the chat area this is actually the chat but that is not what we are going to be using we are going to be making use of the bing composer so go ahead and click on composer and it's going to open up the composer now if this composer opens it actually have different feature different terms and different way to use them so on default we actually need to write what we need to write what we want it to write for us and then we need to actually choose a tone we need to choose a format and then we need to choose a length then we actually have to create by selecting create draft and it's going to preview right here and we can now copy it and reuse so let's start doing that so on first what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to probably test this and i'm going to see um uh all right um so instead of asking what is the best tip i am going to say best best tip uh to starting a youtube channel to starting a youtube channel to starting a youtube channel so i want the tone to be professional uh probably i can choose um casual enthusiast or informational so let's choose on professional first and you see how it displays and do not forget since you are going to actually be using this for um a post or a quote you can either use um a paragraph or you use a blog post so that it choose a particular format and then if you want it to be short you can click on this short if you want it to be long you can make it long but let's make it short since you are running on tutorial purpose so you see how it works so let's click on draft and wait for it to draft for us um our test has been generated for us and you can see the test now let me go ahead and copy this out and then do a long form or a long format test but then i actually want to see how many tests this is so i'm going to use wordpad to see how many alphabets or how many characters it actually generated for a short format test so um i just realized that this doesn't actually count the alphabets all right um it actually microsoft that will be able to count how many alphabets this gave us so um, I can't do that right now, so no need to count. But then I can actually see the difference. This is a bit longer compared to the previous one, and the version of the test is actually quite different. So this one is longer. You can see we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven paragraphs, and then we have like one, two, three, four, five, sorry, lines, I mean lines, five lines, and this is seven lines. So um, I think that actually shows that it's actually different. Now, if you decide to choose um, a blog, and do not forget, guys, we actually choose personal. So I'm going to make this informational. So informational in the terms that it wants to share information. And I'm going to make this long. So for every blog, you actually need to make it long and precise. Actually, long will be better. And then um, for the tone, informational is enough. And I don't think we can choose more than one. Let me see. We are not supposed to be able to choose one now. Yes, you have to choose one. But then if you want to add something different, just click on this plus, and you can see where it says relaxed, right? But then you can actually say creative. And then you add it. So if it if you want it to be creative, it's definitely going to be creative. So you leave that there and then you craft and then you generate your draft. 
So this is actually going to take some time and it's going to come up since we are making use of long and it's also going to be a blog post. So it's going to be writing it in blog post format. You can see the way it started. So it's actually going to be separating them by paragraphs, unlike the previous one you saw. You can notice that this one does not actually have any paragraph. This is actually the first one that generated and this is the second one. So it's writing it in terms that this person is actually reading it for informational purpose. But then when you want to have it as a paragraph, then is actually doing it that right here. So I think it's completed. So let me copy this out and then you are going to see the difference. Um, let me go ahead and open a new one. Instead, I'm going to, in fact, let me close this, uh, delete everything and then paste. Now you can see we have multiple paragraph, like two different paragraph, what? Okay, two different paragraphs to be able to show you the page. Okay, uh, one, two, three, three different paragraphs. So this is actually a blog format, but it's actually very short um, for a blog post. So if you have something like this as a blog post, it's probably going to look very short to anybody that is reading it and um, having information in it. So let me see how it actually performs when I see information out, because I think obviously the creative didn't give me the um, information I want. So let me leave that and then also search the creative. The creative should give me something longer and something more accurate, like trying to share information to the person reading it. And do not forget guys, this actually gave us just three paragraphs. We can actually count with me. If you're watching, you can pause the video. This is one, two, and then three. And this is just the subtitle, so there is no need to add this one. So you start from here. So it only gave me three paragraphs. So let me wait for it to actually see um, how many that is going to bring up right here. And this should be more accurate than the previous one. So let's wait for that to complete. All right, guys. So this has completed. And here you go. I think this is uh, very long. I can't even scroll up because it's so long. So I'm just going to copy this and then paste it on the wordpad. Do not forget, this is three paragraph. So let's paste this and you see. Um, okay, this is also not very long, but this is actually better than the previous one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is actually six paragraph and not very bad, but I think it actually gave us um, subtitles and you can see them. So uh, this is actually different. This is actually something you can number. This is actually a numbering. This is actually the way it actually formats its own bulletin because it cannot add one, two, three in this area. Uh, do not forget guys, the way we actually generate this is probably different from the way chat gp generates its own information or probably the google chat generates its own information it's totally different but very similar but this is entirely a different ai um ai ideology from microsoft also and i think it's also cool so let me know guys what do you think about this application and on my next video i'm actually going to be comparing this with the Bing application and probably uh, in the near future, I'm going to compare this particular application with the Bing AI, uh, Bing AI chart and also the chat GPT chart so that you guys will probably see their performance and how it appears. So if this video is helpful, um, please subscribe to the channel for more video and I will see you on my next video. Stay safe and peace.